I came here to pay my respects to the victims and families who are going through raw pain and grief that most of us can't imagine. I can't imagine as a dad myself. To get a briefing from the Chief Constable and the emergency services about the ongoing investigation. But also importantly, to have the opportunity to say to those that were responding yesterday from the emergency services, to say a personal thank you to them and to shake their hand and to say that as Prime Minister, on behalf of the country, we are grateful for what they did. They, of course, say that they will respond, they're professionals, to anything, but there's no pretending that what they had to respond to yesterday was ordinary. It was very, very difficult of them. Uh, they were absolutely professional, and it was important for me to come and say simple words, thank you. You touched on it before, but as a father, does the nature of this incident touch a particular nerve with you personally and, and with the rest of the country? I think it touches a nerve with the whole country. Um, it's awful to contemplate what happened. To hear for myself the experiences of the first responders, what they had to deal with, um, it's really hard to take in for anybody. It's not what any of them uh, came to work for, but of course they're professionals and they deal with it. Um, I think about the families, um, the friends, the loved ones, those directly impacted, and of course the wider community here. But um, there's no pretending, I think, that anybody in the country is not untouched by what happened yesterday. You've talked about making tackling knife crime a moral mission for your government. Is anything going to change? Is anything going to happen as a result of what happened yesterday? I am very worried about high levels of knife crime, and I'm absolutely determined that my government will get to grips with it. But today is not the time for politics. Today is the time to uh, focus entirely on the families who are going through such pain and grief and on the wider community and, of course, a time to say thank you to those that responded yesterday in the most awful of circumstances.